I'm excited. Yeah, I worked on it for a year and a half, almost two years. So I'm excited for people to finally see it. Yeah. So it's called Home and Away, and it's set at the closest high school in America to the Mexican border in El Paso, about 50 yards from the border wall, uh, and Ciudad Juarez beyond. Um, and I follow three teenagers in high school, sort of a coming of age drama documentary. Uh, where they use sports as an outlet and an expression um, and a way to sort of um, deal with the border issues that they deal with. I mean, as Trump was campaigning and saying negative things about Mexicans and um, about immigration and the wall, uh, you know, we, we watch the news and people have opinions on both sides, but rarely do you stop and ask the people that are actually affected. So I wanted to tell a human story about life on the border, um, create empathy, start a conversation. You know, I've always felt that documentaries is not an excuse for bad filmmaking. It's still a moving image, and so I try to compose my shots and make everything I do cinematic. There's different styles within that, but um, I try to be thoughtful in how I shoot something. And the authenticity comes from uh, the characters in the documentary. Well, it's a big deal. I lived in New York for eight years. I was here during 9-11, which you know, Tribeca launched after that. This is my first film at Tribeca, so it's really meaningful for me. I would love to if I have time. Uh, I'm going to try. I'm just excited to be here and really grateful to Tribeca Studios, um, to Tribeca Film Festival, to Bullet, who produced the film. Tribeca Studios reached out to filmmakers looking for inspirational sports stories where funding was an issue because they believe that um, you know, sports is integral to a kid's you know, character building. And they went to filmmakers and said, find us stories. And I thought, I just came up with the idea of, I wonder where the closest high school to the Mexican border is found a school, Bowie High School in El Paso, and went down there and spent a year there. Six, well, I spent six months there and then another six months editing.